Hello everybody, welcome back. So we have just dropped ourselves off on the human ship whose name I st it still eludes me. I should probably have looked it up <laughs> at some point. I'm going to call it Jacob's Ladder. That's not right, but it'll do. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Well, you heard the lady. That's our mission. No need for me to sum it up this time. Pretty straightforward. I remember fighting here in the very first level. That's a nice cycle, by the way. That's a nice... Uh, ooh, flood had definitely found this ship. Uh, it's a nice kind of beginning and end. We start where we end up, and we end where we started. I think the music also helps the mood here. All right, here we go. Oh, Sentinels. Very interesting. I mean, of course, it makes sense that um, 343 Gregarious Gumptions is planning to stop us. Why wouldn't he? But still, frustrating. Yeah, that's why this weapon is not as good as the assault rifle for killing crawdads. Because it just doesn't have the fire rate. I'm going to run out of ammo. I know one of them dropped one. There it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm about to die already. And then was... <laughs> so I know, I'll walk into a fire. <laughs> okay, not a good start. Valve, please. Sarcasm, by the way, I know. Spongy. <laughs> uh, why did I do that? That was stupid. It's impatience. All that was. Yes, alright, Sentinels, I know. You guys are assholes. You've made that very clear. Don't overheat it. Got him. Alright, we got a checkpoint this time. I you see, this is what I've said a hundred times before, is it seems to make it easier sometimes. Like if you die in a place, it's just like, look. You clearly suck, so. I just want to look out there. It's nice. Oh, well that'll teach me for taking a moment for myself. <laughs> Alright guys, no looking at views I guess. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll play this like a real soldier. Hold the point! Reloading! Oh no, switching weapon! Don't look at that view, Private! Focus only on the mission! I mean, it worked, so... Pistol me up, daddy. Perfect. Yeah, I would love a shotgun. But then, you all know that by now. Shotgun is bay. Oh, hello. Just throw a grenade in there. Just to stem the tide for a moment, so we can take care of these guys. Break up the flow. Put a dam in the floodgate. In the flood, I mean, it's not floodgate. Dam the flood, that's what I was trying to say. Words. Uh, yeah. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. Pow, 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 pow. Uh, yeah. How many rounds has this got? Not even worth it. We'll keep this. Oh, hello. Yeah, poke around that door, I fucking dare you. Are you dead? Nice face, bro. Uh, what have we got here? That's a lot of ammo, I'll probably keep that. Now oh, we just picked up some more ammo as well. Yeah. See, defensive grenades are always a good idea like that. You can just... Give yourself a break from the onslaught. Uh, okay. Okay, we got loads of ammo now. Now we're cooking. Three grenades, quite a bit of ammo. Hello. I will not be sorry to see the back of you, crawdads. Yeah, a lot of unanswered questions, I think. If the game really is going to end soon, um, you know, why are we attacking the Covenant? Who are the Covenant? Uh, 
it feels like it feels like we've played ultimately it's been drawn out though like in terms of the length of time we've been playing it's certainly been a full game but it feels like in terms of the story and the lore we've basically played you know one chapter of what would really be an epic scale story and i'm curious to see if the uh, sequels will expand upon the questions that I have. Okay, that's good to know that there's loads of health there, so we can come back here as like a... Oh yeah, we're going to need it probably. Look at this. Okay. Don't mind if they try to melee me. It's those big guns I'm worried about. Oh, ow. Yeah, see though? The melee didn't even get through my shield, so nothing to worry about. We'll cover this side now. Yeah, we're fighting back through the way we came. There wasn't that much to the ship on the first, uh, very first episode. So I feel like, you know, because um, by the time we were fighting in this mess hall, uh, we'd already f broken through about half of the, oh shit, half of the entire ship. So, oh fuck, 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 fuck. That was an unnecessary death. Now I'm, okay, thankfully it's not too bad. Yeah, uh, there's actually quite a few enemies in here, so I gotta be a little bit more careful. Yeah, like that. Oh, they must have stuck it to me. Suddenly, they're really good at sticking grenades on me. It feels like in these last few levels, I'm fighting against like grenade target experts. Where's he gone? Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Two health. Let's try and get the health if we can. The shield grow a little. One shield. Going from a semi, and he's fully erect. That shield is fully erect. We are ready to stick it in a health pack, and we have produced beautiful offspring of full health and full shield. Neela? Mm, no, I'm content with what I've got. Two grenades, though. Any more grenades for me, Daddy O? We got. That's a grenade. It's two grenades, in fact. Okay, we got six grenades. That's good. Full health, full shields. Let's push on it. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's training for the Olympics. <laughs> Long jump. Has he stuck it on me again? No. Shield, no shield. You come around that corner, you are dead. What? Are these guys... I'm not sure I've seen these guys. I mean, I know they're like elites and we have seen them before. But they just seem really good at throwing grenades, and also the uh, grunts with the exploding pistols seem new. That we encountered last time. Uh, don't need the health yet, but good to know it's there. Let's get to work, okay. Yeah, I thought so. I, did, I didn't think we were far from the bridge. Yeah, I can see you there, asshole. Eat shotgun to the face. Or fill you full of holes, you slut. I remember this from the very first mission. Here we go. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured? Or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is! To have a record of all of our lost time! Human history, is it? Fascinating. Continue to fight us, Reclaimer. You cannot win. Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively painless. And at least I still have control over the comm channels. 
Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor, he's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? Okay, I'm coming with you. Chief, Sentinels! Okay, Sentinel time. Ah, uh, let's get some cover. The ship was heavily damaged when it crashed. Head to the cottage. You should be able to get to the engine room through there. Okay. Why does a ship have a cryo storage facility? I guess for long haul flights, but like really long haul, <laughs> like. This is going to take us 30 years, so let's all just go into cryo sleep for 30 years. That could be why. All right, let's put them out of action. Uh, of course, it couldn't be as simple as just let's overload the reactor core and get out of here. 343 irritating menace has foiled us once again and taken on a bit more of a malicious character. I, I almost find it a little bit uh, uncharacteristically cartoonish the way he talked about how I will make sure your death is almost painless you know it's like since when does this guy turn into like a cartoon villain right I mean his motive was clear even if it's one we disagree with it I don't think he was really ever coming from a place of malice or evil he just was an AI who saw that the best solution to a to a problem of the flood was to just Kind of basically start the uh, the galaxy over again, or even the universe. I'm not sure, um, but you know, it's 90s level writing. You know, people complain about video game writing these days, and I think there is a lot to complain about. But maybe we have come on a little a little way. <laughs> you know, let's not make our our shades are the only the only uh, the only belligerent or the only. Uh, uh, antagonist in this story who has shades of grey rather than just being like blah, 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 blah. you know I'm evil because I speak like this and I'm alien you know uh, let, let's not turn him into some kind of cartoon villain I'd say oh my god how am I going to kill these two don't you dare hit me with that green shit I swear if they hit me with the green shit I'm going to be upset They don't really seem to... Yeah, every time, every time lately I open my mouth to be a little bit cocky. <laughs> it makes me pay. Did we get him yet? Oh, come on. Time to die. Yeah. Good, okay, now we can just kind of focus in on this guy. It's surprisingly easy to dodge these guys' melee attacks. Yeah. Oh, that was an ordeal. Now I'd like to get a checkpoint, please. No luck so far. No grenades either. Have I spot me any grenades on the floor? Nine. Shotgun rounds, but I want a checkpoint. Loading? Checkpoint? Checkpoint? No. Alright, try not to die then. Well, you know. More than usual. Oh, hello. I'll let them kind of attack each other for a moment once I reload. And then... Hi! Oh yeah, I forgot they explode when they fall to the ground. <laughs> it burst fire with this gun. Alright. You know what? Let's take on the crawdads together, Mr. Sentinel. We can be best friends for a moment. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Alright. There's more coming around the core. I saw them. We get a checkpoint yet? Yeah, I fucking hope so. Okay. 
Uh, checkpoint done. There we go. Now I can run in like a loon. Uh, well, this is what the where we started at the very beginning. Okay, so it's this way. I, I want to see what's this way. I mean, this is where we went at the start. Ah, see? There's some health there. That's good to know. Good to know. I think I can go through this door as well. Might confer some kind of advantage. I think it does. I'll let the uh, sentinels attack the flood for a moment. We'll, we'll gang up on the flood. Don't you dare try and trap me in that fucking wall. Ooh, weird movement. Enough to make me miss. I wanted to try and get up on the top, but I can't. There's a ladder, that's how. Hello. It's good. Oh, that ladder movement animation. I mean, there wasn't one. Is this a window? Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like one. You can just about tell it's glass. Okay, lots and lots of ammo, a couple of grenades, that's good. I feel like the, uh, maybe it was just the lighting that was different before, but I feel like the texture set's slightly different from when I first uh, was on this ship. But, I mean, it has been literally the entire length of the game since I saw it, so I might be misremembering. I, I don't remember being the this much yellow trim. On all the walls. Ah! Don't you dare. Oh my god, dude. I'm at a dead end. Phew. Right, let's reload. Pick up that grenade. Let's just crawl dad. Ah, shit. Okay. That one got me good. Now there's health somewhere. I forgot where it was, though. <laughs> I know I saw health a minute ago. We'll find it in a sec. Right, 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 right. Cool, dads, I don't care. God, they do not stop, do they? I th oh, there's the health. Yeah, I knew there was health somewhere. Ooh, shot the wall. The wall is absolutely on 1 HP. Fucked it up. Ah, whatever. Crawdads. Oh my god, there's more of these guys. I'm, I'm like... Uh, Am I been playing this wrong the whole time? Like, is it like if I don't push forward, they just keep spawning or something? Am I that stupid? I don't know. Sometimes it feels that way for sure. Like maybe I gotta hold this room for a moment to kind of just keep pushing through. <laughs> we both leaned in for a romantic kiss. I. Yeah. I don't know. But ah. See, at least if I push forward, I've got a lot of room to retreat. I won't get stuck in a corner. I've run out of health. Should I go back all the way and get the health? Yes. Yes is the answer, because I'll probably need it. See, this is this is called having OCD memory. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> I thought this would be clear. Now I'm in a bind. Just gonna try and force my way back through. Okay, if I can keep my health, that was worth it. Leave me alone. Come on, shield. Come on, shield. Back up. Yep, shields are back. Not sure I can shoot through that grill either way. I'm just gonna keep going now. Ignore the crawdads. 16 shotgun rounds. Keep on going, keep on trucking. We'll go this way. Ooh, not the right way, but we did get an overshield. Yeah, no one cares, lol. So easy to trick him. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Definitely shotgun territory, this. Oh, please tell me this is the right way. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I could have gone either way there. Oh, shit. Lesser of two evils. I'll leave the sentinel alone there. Fuck me. Oh, he can actually come in here. Holy shit, guys. That is not a good thing. Please die. Please die. Please die. Holy shit. Thank God I had an overshield. There's another one there. 
Oh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'll tell you what, this is a challenge, fucking hell. Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Yeah. Piss me, piss me up the ass. Loading. Be nice to have a check checkpoint, okay. I don't know why it sometimes doesn't always give you the checkpoints. Yeah, we'll stay in here, get some cover. Is that another way out? That could be useful. That's better. God, this is a much better angle of attack. <laughs> okay. Ah, but you can't actually use it. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Fuck me. Is there another way? Can I go this way and turn left up here? No, but there's health. Always good to know. Yeah, I kind of just want to let these forces take each other out a little. Okay, that was very clearly a green mortar thing that just went past my face. It's these guys. I, yeah, look. They're not grunts. They're like mortar grunts. Did they drop any kind of weapon or anything? No. they got loads of grenades, though. Yeah, they're like kind of mini grenadiers. Hey. Look at that. Oop. Am I going the right way? What do you think? Going to the armory. Oh, ha. <laughs> nice. Well, this is exactly what I would expect to see in an army. Nice try, asshole. I saw you. Sneaky motherfucker. Oh, that was a that was a flood as well. A flood guy, not not uh, an actual uh, what's the name covenant. All right. Just go for these guys out here. Aye, right, it's rocket time. Are they all dead? Do they all kill each other? What do you reckon? If I, am I going to turn this corner and get fucked? Yeah, a little. Reload. Oh, hello. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't trust that you're dead. Ah, shoot already. Shit, that was a bad miss. Oh, and that's a bad miss. Keep pushing through. Probably shouldn't still have a rocket launcher. Oh, this isn't even the way. Do you know the way? Old meme that. It's this way. Uh huh. Gotta check them corners. SAS shit. Oh fuck, I'm still. I'm well, I'm supposed to be heading to the cryogenics. Maybe it's through engineering. Wee, this is a nice weird little corridor. Light fuse. Yeah, then run. <laughs> yeah, run away. <laughs> Called it. Engine oh. We're here. Okay, I guess we already went through cryogenics. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, yeah, I... to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. You got it. I didn't like how much health was uh, available on the bottom floor there. I mean, I do obviously like that, but it's, you know... This game doesn't give you that much, unless it really is about to pile on the difficulty. And it feels quite boss fighty, this area. And the music, we've got some new music, which again is another onerous... Ominous. Ominous? Onerous? Ominous. Ominous sign. Onerous. Kind of works as well, but I meant ominous. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the crawdads completely. Uh, completely. Uh, yeah, see, I've got a rocket launcher, which it might be a good idea in a moment. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a oh, catalyst I... explosion to destabilize the magnetic container surrounding the fusion cells. Like that? I recommend a grenade or rocket. All right. There is an armory station located near the engine room's engine. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion on the engines. Alright. 
and you heard the lady uh, and I did jump off a little bit willy-nilly there but I know there's health here and I think it's just gonna be expedient if I don't try to kill everything that's moving around me instead I'll just try and survive and get this get this completed well anyway hello asshole there he is, 343, three, ominously staring at me. Leave me alone, Sentinels. Leave me alone. Ah, shit, I missed my shot. There we go. Got some health. Now we gotta go to the other side of the, of the big room, the engine room. No, didn't get it. Looks like I missed somehow. That got it, surely. What the fuck, guys? Apparently I'm not hitting this. My frag grenade. Okay, I don't understand what I'm not what I'm doing wrong here. And am I gonna die? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Got another health. Oh, I see. It's got little shutters that open and close. Gotta wait for the shutters to open. Well that's some BS. There we go. Okay, we have two grenades, which is uh, sorry, two rockets, which is all we need, but Gotta make sure I get the timing right. I think it's over this side now that I gotta go. Yeah, they're above me here. Well, we're doing okay so far. There's more health on the walls there, so that's handy. I definitely don't think this will be the end of things when I uh, hit these other two with rockets. There's, there's, a, there's a climactic boss fight coming. I can just feel it in my fingers. I can feel it in my toes. Boom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, hello. I'll do some jumping. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, I'm so bad at jumping. And they're always very patient and skillful, and I just, I just don't have the patience for it. I'm, a, I'm an FPS guy. I want to shoot things. If something's not blowing up, I'm not happy. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there. Have I been going the wrong way this whole time? There's a doorway there, look. Or maybe I gotta go over this way. Yeah, that's probably it. Ah, if only I had more health though. Huh, weird little construction. I feel like a lot of work went into this environment, considering uh, we're barely going to see it. Hello! Yeah, see, we should have done both consoles at the same time last time. It would have made a lot more sense. Okay, I've only got two rockets, so I mustn't fuck this up. Now. Get it? Oh, I see. You can only do one console at a time. And I fucked it up. Holy shit. Alright, well we got we got grenades. No. Maybe. Oh god, this means I gotta go and get explosives from somewhere, for fuck's sake. Okay, so we need to go up here. Wait for the shutters to open again. Cheer get some health whilst I'm waiting. Come on, shutters, open up. And boom! There it is. No challenge. Press the button. 
Yeah, good luck with that. You're a stupid ball. Okay, what now? Okay, we want to avoid that shit. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. Don't have much time. We should yeah, okay. And signal for evac. Absolutely. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a oh, class seven service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. <laughs> Hurry! What the what the fuck is a class seven <laughs> corridor? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know the military likes to you know be a bit anal about these things, but really, uh, this is the class seven corridor. Yeah, right. These are some class twelve mashed potatoes. Like, what what makes it class seven? You know, like okay. Class 5, you know, it's got some nice decorations. Class 6, we're getting serious now, you know, no decorations, no windows. Class 7, it's like, it's like the Bastille, you know? It's a class fucking 6, hey, guys, come on, let's be serious. It's class 7 and class 8, well, I've heard it, you know, people say it exists. I don't believe them, though. I don't think class eight's even a real thing. That would be like, that would be like a super corridor. Oh, well, that was handy. Oh, hello. Another lovely piece of level design here. Yep. Shocker. Uh, at least it spawn, uh, gives us a checkpoint right before. I got a new idea. Hello. <laughs> Eat rockets, assholes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not fucking around with that level design anymore. <laughs> See you later. All right, here we go. Class 7 corridor. Oh, look at that. Watch us go down now. before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't can't make it on foot. We need a vehicle. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds like we're going to have a final set piece on a vehicle, which I'm actually oh, okay with that. I'm chill with that. You know, that's pretty cool. Put in the driver's seat, asshole. Looks like we've got five and a half minutes to get out of here. Uh, and also, I didn't really need the warning about the temperature of a fusion reaction explosion. I mean, you know, I was I was pretty convinced it was going to be pretty deadly. <laughs> ah, I should have gone in the tunnel, look. Oh, this is pretty cool. I mean, it's nice of them, you know, humans to build their ships in such a way that it makes for sick final chase scenes, right? <laughs> I mean, that's that's... I mean, I'm guessing this is this is like a class 10 corridor right here, guys. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck off. Thank you. That actually helped. <laughs> oh, good lord. I mean, I, this might even be class 11 at this point. I'm not sure. <gasps> Up we go. We jumps and stuff. Also, I did pick up in that that the ship's name is the Pillar of Autumn, so not Jacob's Ladder. <laughs> Run them over, bitches. Yeah, yeah, piss off Sentinels, no one cares. Ah, this thing handles like a fucking school bus. Like, why is it so skiddy? Like, it's a fucking military jeep. What's, what the tyres made out of? Play-Doh and ice? We've got four minutes. I think we're okay, though. No one cares, Sentinels. I mean, I feel like it's trying to... Oh my god, is that 1.1 kilometers away is our extraction point, huh? One kilometer... 
in three minutes, four minutes. So what's how many? What's the speed there? It's about uh, oops, f fifteen kilometers an hour. I think we're doing about fifteen kilometers an hour at least. Ah, shit. How's my four point turn? <laughs> four. It's always an odd number, three or five. What's a four point turn? You just end up starting, ending where you started. All right, I think we'll be okay as long as we don't come across any class 12 enemies. I'm just gonna go underneath this time. Look at all the crawdads. Oh, I did underneath last time, I just remembered, and it almost fucked me up. Please. Oh God, yes, good. Yeah, I kind of... Uh, I feel like this mission is designed for co-op a little bit, because I need someone in the fucking gun. This thing does just does not drive in a way that you want it to for these kind of obstacle avoiding bits. Oh, turret coming up. Yeah, nice turret. Good reaction speed. You really served your served your species well there. <clears throat> We're almost there. Loads of time to spare. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold okay. Here. Oh, I know what's coming. I'm just gonna do it now. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Oh God. Okay. Echo 419. Be gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Oh, shit. We. We. Oh my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> oh my god. The explosion will generate a temperature. Okay. Yeah, for something that's supposed to be like a sick action sequence, you really do have to just kind of stop a lot to get around these obstacles. I would have, if I was designing this, I would have said, look, screw the gameplay challenge. <laughs> get squished against the chest high wall. All right, go up the ramp. I knew it was a bad idea. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. This thing drives like a fucking nervous virgin on their first big fuck. Come on, turn! Oh, good lord. Doesn't... Nah, take it back. It doesn't handle like a fucking nervous virgin. It handles like a fucking... Ah, fat, bored prostitute. Okay, we're back here. I will not make the same mistake this time. Wait, stop. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Bye bye. Bye bye, Fohammer. Nice knowing you. Unfortunately, you were the victim of set piece syndrome. Yeah, I'm not going to get knocked off again. This thing. Have I still got rockets? Lol. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> this thing is going to die. Have it! <laughs> Sorry, the inner British came out then. Alright, let's go. And away we go. Another 1.4... Oh, this better not be another 1.4 kilometers of this shit. At least give me a checkpoint, you piece of shit. <laughs> wee, 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 wee. I feel like half of this is just showing off that they had a physics engine that was able to properly, you know, control a car. <laughs> Well, 
I swear to God, though, if I die and have to do this all again, I think I'm going to find out who designed this at Bungie and knock their door down. Chief, up ahead, there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. Well, I'm trying to go top speed, but... Okay. I, I don't know if that was... <laughs> Is there some kind of turbo button I'm missing? <laughs> oh no, I think that was the gap she meant. I don't know, maybe there is a turbo button. There's no sprint button, so I don't know what it would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've got one minute. If anything gets in my way, I'm going to hit them with a rocket. Okay. Not actually, because that's just one guy. Die. Okay. Phew. This better be a fucking checkpoint. We're cutting it close. That's a cool fighter. It's like a stealth jet. See a look? Yes, I do. Huh. Uh oh. Casplode. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halen, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. Well, there it is, folks. I guess that was the end of the uh, Halo, the very first one, Halo Combat Evolved. Um, so, interesting stuff. So, all in all, lots of questions. You know, why are we fighting the Covenant? That's my number one question. Um, who were the forerunners? Um, what happened to 343? <laughs> I actually almost forgot his real name there. 343 Guilty Spark. What happened to him? Is he still existing in some capacity? I bet he will be. Um, you know, I'm sure, as we know, there are multiple halos, and I'm sure communications have been sent to them through slow channels, but they need to start the process of eradicating all biological life. So I'm sure that there'll be more to it yet. Um, 
I feel like there were some things that were set up in uh, in this game that uh, I'd like to see explored more in the subsequent games in this series. So certainly some of the religious aspects and overtones that we saw. I really want to know more about the Covenant. I really want to know more about the Forerunners. Um, I think the Flood are almost just, you know, they're a kind of, they're a placeholder antagonist. They're there because they give us something to fight a greater enemy. And I would not be surprised if there was some story arc at some point in the Halo series where we end up teaming up with the uh, the Covenant. So <laughs> anyway, thanks everyone for watching this series. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you had fun. I hope I gave you a couple of chuckles here and there anyway. Um, I will start Halo 2 at some point in the future. I'm going to take a little break. Um, I think this first one showed its age in places. Some of the level design did get on my nerves a little bit, as I think you kind of could probably tell. Uh, I'm going to give it a little break. Also, the editing work is quite difficult and uh, these games are long, so, you know, it's a big commitment. Um, I'm probably going to play a, a retro game before I start on number two. I've got a couple in mind that are much shorter and should kind of let me concentrate on editing them a little bit more. Um, but, uh, you know, give me a give me a like, give me a, a comment to let me know that you appreciated this series and uh, that'll kind of galvanize me into starting Halo 2 at some point in the future. Thanks very much, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. See you in the next one. See you now out.